Stochastic Momentum Index or SMI is one of the important indicators in technical analysis. Just like ROC that is rate of change, SMI also compares the current market price of a stock along with its previous data. For the calculation of the same we use maximum of uh, what has been the maximum range of a share stock price for uh, I mean we take the maximum price of a stock we know the uh, lowest price of the stock in a day we try to see for 13 days what has been the maximum price and we try to see what has been the lowest price for the 13 days this becomes the basis for our calculation of stochastic momentum index we are going to see an example and do it in excel for your further understanding how exactly SMI is calculated and how it works. So now let's see how we are going to calculate stochastic momentum index or SMI. Now this is a little bit of descriptive method for technical analysis. Uh, we'll go through the several steps to do the calculation for stochastic momentum index. I've noted down eight major steps here. There are further sub steps. We'll see them one by one. So I've got certain columns for us to fill. First, we'll need to calculate why, what is the highest high. Then we need to calculate the lowest low, EMA 25A, EMA 2A, EMA 25B, EMA 2B, and then we'll calculate the SMI, that is our stochastic momentum index. And finally, we are going to calculate the signal. So let's see, first we'll be calculating uh, the highest high and we are doing it for 13 days. Now, since we have got one day here, two day here, we cannot calculate it for highest high for 13 days. Hence, we are going to calculate it for one day, two day, three day. So a formula to calculate the highest high for initial 12 days will be different and for 13th day onward, it should be different. So let's see them. How do we do it one by one? So we have got the open price, we have got the high price, we have got the low price and we have got the close price. So let's start with highest high. So we say is equal to, we use the formula max. And then we are going to take C5, which is the maximum price for that particular day. And we are going to compare it with the same C5 itself. Since we do not have any previous data, we are going to close the bracket. In C5, I'm going to use the function F4 so that the initial cell C5 gets locked in my formula and I'll say enter. Now what happens if I drag this till my 12th day, I will see that C5 cell is locked. That means and it proceeds to C6 and then it proceeds to C7 and so on. So we see that whatever is the highest price in this three days will be locked here. So what we are doing in this highest high, we are first trying to see what is the high price and we want to compare among the given number of days that among these days, what has been the maximum price and we code the same. From 13th day onward, we'll be using the formula is equal to max bracket open and we are going to select this 13 days and we are going to close the bracket. So among these 13 days, the highest price was 102.38. That's the highest price and we are going to consider this as the highest price. Now we'll use the autofill function and we have the highest high for all the balance days. Now similarly, we are going to do it with lowest low where we are going to say is equal to minimum bracket open and we are going to select the low price in that particular day and we are going to compare it with the same day since we do not have any previous data bracket close but here in d5 i'm going to lock the cell hence i'm going to use the function f4 and i say enter so that's the lowest price i'll be tracking and dropping it till next 12 days and on 13th day, I'll be using the formula is equal to minimum bracket open low price for all this duration. Whatever is the lowest price for this duration will be picked up. Now, since this is based on the moving average on basis uh, or move, moving data. So this D5 to D17 will change to D6 to D18 
as we use the autofill function and here we go we have this d6 to d18 and the lowest price has been captured for all the previous 13 days in the balance ones so here we are ready with our two steps that is we have calculated highest high for 13 days and we have calculated lowest low for 13 days now next is next step is to calculate EMA for 25A now EMA has been divided into two categories one is EMA 25A and EMA 25B this is because of different formula that we are going to use but your duration will remain the same as 25 days so let's see how do we calculate the very first step or the very first EMA because every time we calculate EMA we need to see have the previous EMA but since we do not have any previous EMA let's see how do we calculate the very first EMA here in the SMI so formula that we'll be using is is equal to average bracket open and we are going to select the close price for the entire duration of 25 days so I take the close price from here and I drag it till the 25th day so this is my close price or this is the average I have taken I've selected for this duration E5 to E29 and then I say minus and I say multiplication bracket open since I'm trying to calculate the average of the highest high and lowest low I'll be saying E5 is to E29 then I'll be saying minus 0.5 multiplication bracket open I'll be selecting the highest high for this duration and then I'll be adding the lowest low for this duration since I'm trying to calculate the average I'll add this two and multiply it by 0.5 I will close the brackets and instead of saying enter I will be using Control shift enter so once you use Control shift enter your function will look like this and you have the better average for this formula which is 2.13 once you have the first average which is your first moving average which is basically the difference between the close price average close price minus average of or yeah average of the highest high prices and lowest low prices for these 25 days now we can go ahead and use the formula which we have written here for calculation of EMA so the formula you can see here on the screen it says 2 divided by n plus 1 multiplication double bracket open close price minus 0 0.5 into highest high 13 minus lowest low 13 bracket close minus previous EMA bracket close plus previous EMA so let's go ahead and put this particular formula into action here okay so it says first we need to have we need to have what is our 2n plus 1 since n is 25 here uh, we can say is equal to bracket open 2 divided by 26 bracket close so we have done the first step we have set 2 n plus 1 and we say multiplication and we say double bracket open close price for the day and the close price for the day is 108.86 and we say minus 0 0.5 bra multiplication bracket open we are going to take the average of highest high for the day which is 110.30 plus lowest low which is 98.22 and I am going to close this bracket and I'm going to say minus my previous EMA bracket close again and then I'm going to say plus my previous EMA and I say enter now let's accept this but I see an edit here so here there's a slight change in the formula so I have said 2 and plus 1 into double bracket open E30 which is my close price minus 0 0.5 into bracket open f30 which is my highest high plus g30 which is my lowest low both the brackets closed i multi and i say minus h29 which is my previous ema 
bracket close plus H29 which is my previous EMA and here I get the result as 2.23 2.32 and I use the autofill function and this looks pretty correct to me I'll just drag and drop it for the balance duration and here we have the EMA for 25 days now to calculate the EMA for 2A that is EMA will be for EMA 25 so that's EMA of EMA that will be pretty easy first will be your average calculation I'll be calculating average for these two days or these two EMAs and this will become my first EMA which is my simple moving average and then I'll be saying is equal to my previous formula which is 2 bracket open 2 divided by n plus 1 which is 3 bracket close and then I say into bracket open my close price which I'm taking the current EMA for 25 and I say minus previous EMA I close the bracket and then I say plus previous EMA yes and then we are going to use the autofill function which is basically your drag and drop then I'll be calculating EMA 25 for B right so here I'll be using a different formula we have this formula here that is 2 divided by n plus 1 into highest high for current period minus lowest low for current period minus previous EMA bracket close plus previous EMA so let's do it but before that we need to calculate the first EMA which will be your simple moving average so the formula that we are going to use here is is equal to average and we are going to consider the entire average for highest high which is for this duration and then we are going to subtract this with lowest low which is for the same duration so it's a very simple average that we have taken and remember first we need to say control shift enter so once we say control shift enter we get 7.45 that is our EMA here for the 25 days for next day we'll use this formula only 2 divided by n plus 1 multiplied by close price minus 0 0.5 of highest high 13 so highest high current minus lowest low current minus previous EMA plus previous EMA so let's let's proceed with this formula to put it here so is equal to bracket open 2 divided by 26 and plus 1 would be 26 here and then we would say multiplied by bracket open we say the high high current which is 110.30 and then we say minus low low current or lowest low which is 98.22 and then we are going to say minus the previous EMA and we are going to add the previous EMA so here we get 7.81 we are going to use the autofill function and we get the EMA for this duration now again calculating the EMA for 2B would be very much simple the first one we need to calculate the average for this two and here we have the average here the second would be your is equal to bracket open 2 divided by 3 bracket close multiplied by bracket open current price minus your previous EMA bracket close plus your previous EMA and here you have the 7.81 as your EMA to be autofill function so that we can cover the rest of the cells we should know what is the EMA for the rest of the cells now comes the time to calculate your SMI which is basically your stochastic momentum index so the formula that we'll be using to calculate stochastic momentum index is given here so it should be 100 into EMA of 2A divided by 0 0.5 of EMA of 2B 
So it's a slight correction, so it should be MA of 2B. So let's get it done. So here we go. So here we say 100 into bracket open EMA of 2A. We have it here. And we say, let me put is equal to symbol first. 100 into bracket open EMA 2A divided by bracket open 0 0.5 into EMA of 2B both the brackets closed so here I have SMI for first day which is basically the 26th of October and I can use the autofill function and I can get the SMI for balance days now next what we need to calculate is signal signal is the uh, simple exponential moving average calculation that we have learned it previously in our previous videos so let's say first one would be your plain average or simple average. So I'll take the average for this nine days. I'll close the bracket. I'll say enter. For the second, I need to say is equal to bracket open. Since this is nine days, n is nine. Your n plus one would be 10. So two divided by 10, bracket close into open current uh, EMA, which will be your current SMI right minus your previous SMI bracket close plus your previous uh, EMA so it's not SMI it's EMA previous EMA for single line and here we get 62.74 I just okay. use the autofill function and here we have got the signal for the balance so hence you see the stochastic momentum index is little bit complex to calculate compared to its counterparts like MACD or Bollinger Band or Simple Moving Average or Exponential Moving Average. But this looks pretty interesting in case you have not understood and you want to understand it better you can reset this video and you can download this data you can put these numbers or you can take any random numbers you can download it from Google Finance Yahoo Finance you will be getting this date open high low close and you can go through these steps and calculate what is your stochastic momentum index so I repeat the steps we first calculated the highest high for 13 days then we calculated lowest low for 13 days and hence we calculated the EMA for 25A and we calculated EMA for 2A, then we calculated EMA for 25B and EMA for 20, EMA for 2B. And then we calculated SMI for 13 to 25 using the formula 100 into EMA for 2A divided by 0 0.5 into EMA for 2B. And then we calculated the signal. So signal was basically the calculation of EMA taking SMI as the data. So this is how we calculate stochastic momentum index.